Today, we'll be discussing all about thinning of the skin and how we can maintain the thickness of our skin so that we can have that plump, beautiful complexion that we're all looking for. Thinning of the skin brings along various skin concerns and also age-related issues like skin wrinkling. So it's in all of our interest to maintain that thickness of our skin. And today we'll be discussing why our skin thins in the first place and the top eight tips on how we can both prevent the thinning of the skin and treat it. My name's Sophia. I've been working in the beauty and wellness industry for over 15 years, and my mission is to help you become the best version of yourself. So let's start out by understanding the reasons for that skin thinning. There's many factors that contribute to this. Number one is aging. When we age, we lose collagen and elastin and the skin gets thinner. But other factors include hormonal changes, sun is a massive factor, and stress can contribute to this as well as inflammation. So in order to prevent that skin thinning of the skin and maintain that thickness of the skin, we need to focus on three key factors. Maintaining and growing that collagen and elastin production, increasing that cell turnover, and also reducing inflammation. Now, inflammation is an issue for many reasons. It both destroys the collagen in our skin through something called MMPs. It also affects our skin barrier by leading to water loss and other skin issues that can then affect our collagen. It affects our blood vessels negatively. It destroys them, which means that we have less oxygen and nutrients going through our skin, also preventing that collagen formation. And in addition to this, it prevents that cell turnover, which is very important for thickening of the skin. One of the most effective remedies for skin thinning is vitamin A topically applied as a tretinoin cream, as a stronger form, or as a retinol as the weaker form. Now, I know there are some discussions of this thinning the skin, but this is not the case if it's used correctly. When it's used correctly, it's been shown through numerous studies to thicken the skin, increase that cell turnover, and also increase that collagen and elastin production needed for thicker skin. So if you're using it correctly, avoiding that inflammation, this is gonna be a fantastic remedy to thicken the skin. And what does using the product correctly mean? Well, it means working your way up. So basically, if you're starting out, you would start out once a week, second week, twice a week, providing your skin can tolerate it, and upwards to every night, if your skin can tolerate it and isn't reacting. There's also various strengths to consider, and you work your way up on these. Everyone won't be able to get up to every night or on the highest strengths. It really depends on your skin and you need to make sure that it's not reacting too much, causing that inflammation, which obviously is counteractive. Another great ingredient for thickening that skin are alpha hydroxy acids. So this includes things like glycolic acids and lactic acids. There's a lot of research behind this actually showing that these can actually help thicken the skin. And they do this by increasing that cell turnover. They encourage that collagen production and therefore thicken the skin. Now, the important thing to remember here is as with uh, the vitamin A products, you want to make sure you're not overusing these acids because they can cause inflammation on the skin. So start slowly at lower concentrations. And this leads me on to inflammation, which is really important to manage to make sure your skin is healthy and remaining that thickness. And the number one thing, like we discussed, is making sure your skin is not reacting to products. If they are, make sure you're going down in those products and make sure that you heal that skin barrier. I will link a video above so that you can have a look on how to do this. And the other thing that we cannot forget is what we do internally for that inflammation. This is key. So make sure that you're eating the right things. And as we know, that's a lot of fruits, vegetables, proteins, and fats, avoiding those processed foods that really cause that inflammation. It's getting enough sleep, rest, relaxation, avoiding alcohol as much as you can, and obviously not smoking. Now, another fantastic ingredient to look out for for thickening that skin is something called EGF or epidermal growth factors. This is a protein that encourages cell growth, both on the outside of your skin, but also deeper in your dermis. That's your fibroblasts, which help with collagen and elastin production. They also help with wound healing by encouraging the production of new blood vessels. And that then helps with wound healing and bringing more nutrients and oxygen to your skin. And anything that helps with wound healing is brilliant for anti-aging. 
By the way, if you're liking what you're learning, please give the video a thumbs up. That way I know to continue producing similar content. Now never underestimate the effect the sun can have on your skin. This is great in small doses, but overexposure can really break down those collagen and elastin fibers. So make sure you're wearing that sunblock every single day. Now, if you're looking for a more intensive solution and a quick result, but you're prepared for some downtime, that's redness and flakiness for many days, you might want to consider a CO2 laser. These can be fantastic for improving that skin thickness because they work both on the innermost layer, that is your dermis, where you have your collagen and elastin fibers and also your blood vessels so they will help thicken that area. They also work on the epidermis that's your outermost layer of your skin and they help get rid of all those dead skin cells and encouraging more new healthy skin cell growth. When it comes to thickening your skin exercise is incredibly important and there has in fact been many studies around this showing that exercise does thicken your skin and this is due to many reasons. The number one is it increases the flow of nutrients and oxygen because of the circulation. It also balances your hormones, so it reduces the effect of the stressful hormone cortisol for one. It also reduces inflammation in the body, which has a great impact on the skin. And massage is another great tool to really help thicken that skin. And again, like with exercise, it increases the flow of nutrients and oxygen, helping with that collagen formation. It also helps with the lymph flow, keeping everything moving. So really consider including massage into your routine on a daily basis. Now, if you'd like to find out more about thickening your skin and increasing that collagen production, I would recommend you next watch my video on the top tips to increase collagen naturally. If you like this video, please give the video a thumbs up and share it with whoever might find it useful. And if you haven't already, remember to subscribe for weekly tips on well-being and beauty. And as always, I would love to hear from you, so please comment below. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.